Sean, we're looking back to uh, obviously winning the Scottish Cup, uh, Pan Scottish Cup last week. Um, still surreal feeling. How was it feeling for yourself? Um, I guess it's, it's only some kind maybe the last kind of three or four days um, as to what it actually actually means um, for us as a club and for, for me myself, obviously leading the, leading the team to to our third trophy. Um, it was, it was quite exceptional. I think, I think the boys were were outstanding. Yeah, obviously, um, you, you see yourself there. You, you, you led us to, to the third trophy. Um, again, we'll, we'll speak later in the interview about kind of breaking down games and stuff. But yeah, um, captain obviously for the last two seasons. Uh, well, obviously one being through COVID, um, and obviously the, the third trophy. Just how, how does that feel for you to bring not just one, not just two, but now three trophies? Aye, no, it's, it's again, it's, it's quite surreal. Even um, you know the, the first two, obviously the one time tournaments. Um, bringing the trophies back was quite, quite surreal. I think that's one of the ways it's a wee bit different. Um, it's a bit more what it means and what it is to you know the, the fan level. It's just pretty up there. I think obviously the, the league trophy. Of course, it's um, you know it's similar to what we what we said to the paper. Um, you know it's kind of very much the sort of Champions League of, of fan football. Um, it's up there with your um, your league your league trophy. Um, you know the official Scottish Cup. Uh, it's huge. Um, so we'll break down the day. Uh, as a whole and kind of unfold things and how they went. Uh, obviously we entered a, a 16 group stage, uh, including ourselves. Um, obviously in our group was Claremont, Dalkeith, Furhall City, which is the B team, uh, Motherwell and Glen Office. Um, results obviously went Claremont 3-0. Um, steadiness for the for the day I thought. 3-0 uh, kind, of, kind of really, really settled the nerves I think. Um, I think the 3-0 the, the game to, to kick us off was probably the, the most settled we've started a tournament since we became a pan team. I uh, don't know what, what your take on that was. I know definitely. I think we've, we've always been kind of thing with the ourselves that we, we started quite slow. Um, we maybe kind of have to dig, dig a result out. I felt we were quite comfortable for the, for the start on the ball. Um, going back to front, obviously the, the three nothing speaks for itself. Um, but I think it settled that a lot of the boys now are saying kind of the dirty stuff for me. Um, so I think it puts us in good stead for the, for the rest of the day. And you say that yourself, so it puts us in good stead, obviously, um, takes us on to the, the, the top of the league for, for the next game. Uh, when we look back to the league format, they'll keep for obviously top of our league. Uh, enough in each game, obviously, the, a red card was, was thrown on you as well for a late tackle. Um, what was your taking in now? now? Is it a one, one way we could have won, <laughs> should have won? What's the, the take um, on that? I personally feel, I feel like we should have took something for it. Um, obviously, a point, point's better than, than nothing, but I feel like the, the game was there for us to take. I don't think I didn't get get a piece of credit than after after all the team. but I feel like we maybe created the, the better chances and I think one or two of them should should have really been. Uh, obviously again, yeah, we, we move on to the two championship games. Um Farhill we beat seven 0 kinda of quite comfortably and obviously Motherwell were, were beat nine 0 quite comfortably. Um I presume obviously you you'll just put that down to kinda of business done on the day and that's as we move on for that. Um, Glen Office obviously a bit of a, a bit of a sore one. What was the, the kind of taking the Glen Office one one? Um, for me, it was uh, I think we, we myself. I know um, I, I thought sort of thought we were, were quite comfortable. Um, I thought we were pretty set to, to go through. Um, I think maybe a few of the other boys thought the same and sort of just stepped off the gas a wee bit um, and just sort of let them play a bit of their football and they just sort of get dragged in there kind of a rough and tumble battle with with them and obviously it's just cost us a few points. Of the, the, of course, obviously you say it's we became a wee bit complacent, but um, we obviously went through second place. Um, just looking at stats as well, obviously through the group stage, obviously vice captain Jamie was was top goal scorer with five goals. What kind of impact do you think Jamie had through the through the group stage? Uh, Mike he was outstanding. Um, you know he, he led the team. He was very vocal. You know he was in the right position at the right time. Obviously the five goals again. Um, you put yourself in the right position, and if you have a goal, then you know that's what can happen. Of course, and then uh, obviously we, we then went down to the, the business side of the of the, the tournament. Um, obviously it was then confirmed we went through. We we then played the the Group A leader, which was obviously St James from from our from our league. Uh, again, looking back to a league setting, um, probably the poorest ten minutes we played. The first ten minutes all day, um, and we see ourselves one 0 down. Um, that kind of first ten minute period. How how did how did it feel for you? Um, it hurt a wee bit, I'm not going to go on the line. Um, I feel like we, we should have done better. I think we were still kind of a wee bit complacent against still sort of the Glen Rothes game was maybe playing in our heads. Um, we were just sort of complacent with passing, not really for one to have a goal and just letting them sort of press us for, for about 10 minutes. 
of course, and then we went to the, the kind of last five minutes, we really started to find our feet and started <coughs> to keep the ball a lot more and we were getting up the park, I think we, we maybe drew four or five corners, I think we had upwards of kind of six or seven throw-ins, you could see he's really getting up the park, of course, we got a minute to go yourself, once again, uh, find yourself the ball and four or five players into the net and we see ourselves at one each, what was the, the kind of feeling, feeling around surrounding that? Um, I think we, we knew ourselves for the, the throw-ins, um, we were quite comfortable with, with winning it, um, so I think that was sort of target. Um, obviously, I, I took it upon myself to kind of step up as captain and, and sort of try and make the impact. It's obvious becoming a bit of a, a regular constant, but in, you know, multiple people in the back of the net. But the, I think the feeling of the, the boys, the celebration after it, kind of shows you know what, what it really meant to us. You could probably thought we'd won the game at that point, um, but I think it was the, the overwhelming that uh, we deserved it and we knew what, what we should have been doing. And of course, you, you say there, obviously, where you can. Uh, we probably became complacent again, thinking, you know, we've won it, we hadn't, we had literally got it back to one each. Um, they kick off, lumped the ball at the park, went two on one, boys squared it, and, you know, from there, I think everybody, even including the sideline, thought we're out. Um, and then Mr. Fulton himself, you know, the Galactico that he is, makes the, probably the best save I've seen, at, uh, not just sevens football, probably at elevens as well. Um, what was the kind of feeling when, when Andy made that save? Well, it was outstanding. Um, I, I know myself, I thought that was it. Um, even when the, the first point before he squared it, I thought he's, he's going to hit it. And then realising it was a 2 on one I was like, I sort of almost admitted defeat myself. Going, this is it. And obviously, Andy's, Andy's stepped up and, you know, he's just obviously took his penalties. But it was, I think for me, it was an absolute outstanding save. And it, to me, it, it nearly to, to make it, but he, he's went and done it. Of course, and obviously, as you say, that led us on to penalties. Um, three from three from the first three. Obviously, yourself stepped up and uh, unfortunately missed. Um, what was the kind of thoughts running through your head when you missed? Uh, I thought that was it, personally. Um, I thought they were quite comfortable with the penalties. Um, I think as we were quite comfortable on to me, um, you know, I know I've planted my foot in the wrong place and it's just, just my stay over the bar, but at that point, I thought that's, that's what I've, I've cost us us. Um, again, obviously, Andy's then, you know, pulled a, a magnificent save up to, to obviously send us through. It's, it's sort of saved, saved me. Yeah, obviously, they, they, hit, they then hit the post. You missed, they then hit the post. Um, we then scored uh, a very, very lovely penalty, actually. Um, and then, obviously, Mr. Fulton again has went on and, and made a poor penalty, but a cracking save, uh, albeit. Um, and that saw us into the final. Um, what was the kind of thoughts going into the final then? Do you feel that the, the penalty settled the nerves a bit? Um, I, I think at that point, I think a lot of the boys started to believe um, in themselves and in, in you know, what, what they could achieve for the day. Um, I think we were maybe still kind of high for the first couple of minutes of the game. Um, you know, we've shown in, in the past when we had a big result, it's sort of, it takes a wee bit to come down. I think that was a wee bit evident. Um, but I think a lot of the boys did, did believe, I believe myself at that point that, you know, we, we could go on and win it. And of course we enter that game, uh, again I thought we, we came right out of the traps, it was as if we were game one, we had played our first game of the day, we were right out of the traps, we looked fit, we looked sharp, um, five, six minute mark, obviously we won a questionable free kick which could have been a penalty, um, albeit we, we still got possession of the ball, um, obviously Mr Singleton battling the ball into the, into the net from the from the free kick, what was the, kind of, the feelings after the, the ball hit the net for the free kick? Um, personally, for me, it was it was just keep keep the head at that point. Um, you know, obviously that was we were in the lead, and you know, I don't know, simply we just hold off, and that, that was us. Um, but it was more settled on the boys and getting them sort of down, and all that the sort of occasion gets them at that point. And of course, obviously, time ran on and on, and as as every game of football does, the final whistle blows. And what was the, the feeling after that then? Uh, oh, it was surreal. Um, I don't know, so I remember just kind of collapsing in the park. Um, seeing the, the emotion for the rest of the boys and seeing what it, what it truly meant to, to everyone else, the coaching staff and the sidelines included. Um, you know, I'll credit to Dal Keith to put a great performance on. Um, I feel that at the end of the day, we, we deserve it. Three in a row winners as well, not to mention. Um, obviously, that looking for the fourth and we obviously timely stopped that. Um, the day as a whole, what was, you know, to sum up the, the day as a whole, you know, the bus back and everything like that and obviously we had where we were we partying the Friday as well. It just followed. Um, you know, really is it really sunk in for you now that you're a Scottish Cup winner? Well oh, I did definitely know. I think for the, the first couple of days it was still quite um quite unsale. Um, you know, that sort of feeling that I'm gonna wake up and it's, it's turning day again and 
you know, it's a day for kind of progressed. It was you now we've, we've actually went and done it. Um, you know, the bus back was, it was unbelievable. The bus up was, you know, again, that sort of put us in good stead as well. Um, obviously, the celebration of Friday was good to see the boys out, you know, really celebrating what we've done as a, a team that we've had with Cable.